First, the concept of neurodiversity. There was a time when there was the word autism was used. Under autism, there were se several sub-classifications. And then slowly they said, instead of doing this, let's just call them autism spectrum disorders. But now even that is changing. And in some parts of Europe in particular, now there is a concept, let's not use the word autism at all. In some of our conferences, they say, don't use that word, because you're putting a stamp, a label on a child, which a child has to carry for the rest of his life. And now there is a concept of neurodiversity, that people, children are either neurotypical, like us, or neurodiverse, like them. Just like somebody's tall and somebody's short, somebody's fair and somebody's dark, you can have somebody with brains like children with autism, and you can have somebody with brains like us. So now the languaging is changing. And I'll explain to you why that becomes important. So the one thing and the one single message that I want you to take home from here are that our children are not less than, they are different. And unless we change in our thinking, we are not going to give our children the opportunity of independent living because if we look at them as less than, they will look at themselves as less than. They are different. 